in the service of Filipino from Echaga News Studio. This is ABC ZBN News Philippines. service of the Filipino, the headlines of the news. Price hike of milk and other canned goods including sardines. Filipino farmers was expecting the approval of President Duterte of the free irrigation bill. Price hike of commercial rice in the Echaga market at the same time limited supply of NFA rice. Government will help to the poor using train law. There is now a rollback in the price of liquefied petroleum gas. Good morning, Philippines. We are the voice of the Filipinas. We render news and services to any point of the Philippines. This is Eliza Dumaniao and this is Rania May Amgadwang from Chage Isabella News TV. This is ABC ZBN News Philippines. All Filipinas started to complain about continuous of price hike. First on oil, rice, milk, and other canned goods in supermarkets. This was all the effects of train law. Ms. Nicole Shin Labitoria will report this issue. The price was rise about 1 to 2 pesos on canned goods, milk, and also in laundry soap. As you can see, in this supermarket, from 14 pesos, now it is 15 pesos in every 155 grams of sardines. The lunch and meat from 27.50 to 28.50 pesos, while meat loaf from 15.18 pesos to 16.50. The condensed milk with 300 ml was raised from 49.85 to 51 pesos. Also evaporated milk with 375 ml from 35.65 pesos to 37 pesos. The detergents were 18 pesos, now it is 19 pesos in powder and 17.35 to 20.15 pesos bar soap. According to DTI, the price hike was affected by the train law. Yung mga dilata, harus stable ang price niyan. Mga 2 to 3 years, stable ang price niyan kasi hindi nag-adjust ng SRT. Ngayon lang, nung in-implement ang train law, uh, yung sinasabi mo ng peso, mayroon mga choices naman may ibang brands na mababak sa sa piso ang pagpas. All consumer was disappointed including Anilita because the price of detergent including the bar and powders was rise. Dang bukas ka ng dalawang lata ng sardinas, di dalawang peso na yun. O sana yung dalawang peso may mabibili pang idadagdag sa pangbaon ng mga ato. While other products like noodles and coffee is possible to have a price hike because of the train law. Our advice to other consumer is to try other brand that is cheaper than the others. This is Nicole Shayna Vitoria reporting.
Filipino farmers was expecting the approval of President Duterte on the free irrigation bills. This news has Ms. Pringasing reporting. Despite of the continually increasing prices of some products due to the new tax reform, there will be a good news for the Filipino farmers. They was expecting for the improvement of the free irrigation bill of President Duterte by signing it for it will finally become a law. Now, the irrigation fee is equivalent of two arc of rice by hectares in wet season, while three arc of rice for dry season. If the free irrigation bill will finally approve, the irrigation fee for the farmers who are harvesting below eight hectares will now become free. It is a huge opportunity for Allen Virginia to save money for she is paying about 2,000 pesos per cropping. Together with her husband, they are harvesting this one hectare. For their savings, they will allocate for the expenses for their four children. The free irrigation also will become an answer for Allen Nanya's problem for she is suffering reuma when she was in the field. Aside of her age, the irrigation fee is also a big burden to her. It will be a big help for the Filipino farmers if this tax reform is finally approved. This is Spring Kasing reporting. There is now running out of stock and supply in NFA rices in Ichage market. In line with this, there is some price hike in some commercial rice. Ms. Christy and Denal will report this issue. The 26 pesos of NFA rice of Aling Ani in Ichage market was utterly consumed. The 32 pesos of NFA rice is almost running out of stock. She has known only 10 sacks of rice stock. The National Food Authority man-made for containing of the rice of retailers because there is only limited supply. So before, it will be completely consumed Aling Lorna already brought 3 kilos of NFA rice. Mabili, mabili kasi kung i-compare mo yung klase ng bigas, katulad nitong 26, ang katumbas, parang katumbas na niya sa um, commercial rice natin ay nasa 37, 38, 40. In the issue of limited supply of NFA rice, in the markets, there is all so have an increasing price of commercial rice. Before, it's only sold at 30 pesos per kilo, but now the cheapest price of the rice can be brought at 34 pesos. The supply of rice now happening in experience of more seller, so it is our burden of retailers and also for the customer. This is Chris Alandina reporting for ABC ZBN News. Price rollback on liquefied petroleum gas of LPG is already implemented in the two big oil seller companies. This news is to be reported by Ms. Janine Andrada. Due to the increase in the price of LPG in this year, many different strategies were able to use by the owners of Carinderia for they will only be able to save LPG. Hindi kami magtuntuno papapulot ki sabaw. But in the month of February, they are barely loosened out because of the lowering the price of LPG. The price of the 11 kg of LPG will now lessen up to 35 pesos. So from the price of 690 pesos, it is now only 611 pesos. Well, in the 11 kg of saline gasoline, from 740 pesos down to 705 pesos, the retailer cannot determine if how long the lower prices last. But for the people who only depends their livelihood in using LPG will continually become frugal. For this is their only way to put it into savings. This is Janine K. Iandrada reporting in ABC ZBN News. Millions of Filipinos will receive help from the government by using the tax reform law. This news is to be reported by Ms. Quincy Marie Anwar. Aside from continuous blowing of products and prices, the new tax will also benefit to those people who are directly affected by this tax reform. About 10 million of Filipinos which are poor will receive a 200 pesos subsidy in the every end of the month which has stated in a tax reform law. This is one way to protect the poor and not only harming due to the prices of goods and price hike issues. The help will include 4.4 million for peace beneficiaries 2.8 indigent senior citizens and 2.8 million miss of DSWD. 
This was a big help for Mom Claudia. She's one of the Indian family. Nababa yung tanim namin ngayon. Nagulit na naman kami nagtanim. Nagkasusulungan po sa ating kami. Nagkagarapan. Aside from the tax reform benefits, the government will also give other help to the poor. According to the train law, they will increase the set amount in the year 2019 and 2020. They will receive 3,600 pesos in a year or 300 pesos in every month. 2.40 billion was implemented with an unconditional pass transfer with this 2018 from General Association Act. For these changes in tax, many will be benefits and advantages, but there are also people who will suffer against this bill. This is Quincy Marie Angolwan reporting. If you have other news to share, just message us on our Facebook account and we are willing to research on them. And these are the news that we research all over the Philippines. Thank you and good morning to all. Again, this is Alaysa Dumalayam and this is Rana Mayam Gadwang from Echage Isabella News TV. This is ABC ZBN News Philippines. Ang pagod pa ba kayo sa train mo? Uh, sa ngayon, noong una ako ay natuwa kasi uh, malaki ang uh, tax ko. No? So, malaki ang nababawa sa akin buwan-buwan. 4,000 plus ang aking tax every month. Ngayon, nung matanggal ang uh, tax ko at uh, naging 687 na lang, medyo masaya ako. Pero, Sana nakakikita kong hinaing ng mga tao, lalo na yung mabababa ang sweldo kaysa sa akin. Parang sila yung naapektuhan ng husto dito. Gawa ng, uh, dahil sa tax reform na yan, yung tax ay naipatong sa mga bilihin at sa gasolina. Lahat ng bagay ay tumaas. So yung naibawas sa akin, bali parang magagamit ko lang din yun sa pagbabayad ng mga edad-tag na buwi sa mga bilihin at sa mga services. Kaya ako hindi ko mararamdaman kasi unti-unti itong nawawala sa bulsa ko. Pero ang alam ko ang nakaramdam ng huso nito ay yung mga maliit na pag uh, manggagawa na kung iisipin ko ang uh, epekto nito, parang uh, mas maganda pa rin yung dati sana. Or, kung magta-tax reform sana, ang uh, bigyan ng pansin siguro ay bigyan ng tax talaga yung malaki ang kinikita talaga. No? Na mga institusyon o mga pan, owner ng mga kumpanya. Saan po ba kayo sa train do? Oo naman. Eh, dipenda na sa mga kuhan, mga nagtitinda. Kami eh, nakaano lang kami, bili lang ng bili, wala kaming magagawa. Kasi bali wala sa mayayaman yung train lock. Ang ginagawa lang nila, nag-adjust lang sila ng tax. Tapos siya absorb ng mga mahirap. Yung sinasabi nilang benefit natin, kaya hindi na tayo magbalay ng tax dahil low income earner tayo. Hindi, kasi sa process nito talaga, hindi na tayo magbabay ng tax dahil hindi kasi yung yung sahod natin para pambayad ng tax. Doon sa train law, lahat yun ipinapasok nila sa mga products at saka sa goods na inaabsorb ng mahihirap. Kaya ang nakikinabang lang sa train law, gobyerno lang talaga. Nag-proproduce sila ng maraming taxes in behalf of the poor, poor of the poorest. Sila ang mostly affected ng train law. So, totoo lang yun. Diba, ang mayaman, bali wala sa kanya yung tax niya eh. Kasi yung tax, ipapasa rin din dun sa product na ibebenta niya. Yung ibebenta niya product, ang bibili nun yung mahirap. Kaya, ang most affected ng train law na yan ay ang mahirap, hindi yung mayaman. Kaya, dapat ang gawin na lang nila, bigyan nila ng, mag, o kaya yung, tax, yung proseso ng pagkolekta ng tax, higpitan nila para yung mayayaman, babayaran talaga nila yung tax nila ng tama. Kasi pag ginawa nila yun, kasi sa mayayaman naman talaga marami yung taxes na hindi nila binabayaran kasi may mga accountant sila na kaya nilang i-adjust yan. Diba? Kaya doon, nagkakaroon ng kwan. Nag-train law sila pala umangat yung kabuhayan. Hindi. Mahihirap, lalong mahihirap. Siyempre, hindi ako pabor. Kasi natas ang bilihin. Hihirap. 
1.5 lang. Kaya ngayon tumaas. Nagiging 3,000 plus. Ang binayaran namin ngayon. Kaya doble taas. Ano pong nagiging effect ka nun sa inyo po? Ay, na nagtiging lang. Ang best na pambili namin ng gulay, binayad namin sa ano, renta. Sa tax namin. Kaya sa train lo? Bakit po? Kasi na, nahihirapan yung mga nanimili. Nagbibigla sila sa presyo, lalo na yung mga toplings, ganyan. Lakasa. Ang laki ng tinaas niya. Ano po ba kayo sa trend mo? Um, oo, kasi uh, lalo na sa ano, itong business na yung SBP. So, uh, ang pangunahing isang cup naman kasi yung mga bread is sugar. Kasi lahat ng bread may, ano, may sugar. So, oo, oh, although apektado naman kami sa pagtaas ng presyo, kaya lang kailangan din kasi namin mag-adjust. Uh, sa mga customers naman namin, syempre nagtatanong sila. Bakit so, ito, uh, lumit yung pinatay pero yung presyo ganun pa rin. Hindi kasi kami pwedeng magtaas, lalo na pag hindi naman nila afford yung presyo ng pinatay. So, magbabawas na kami ng pinbang. Ganun. So, okay, okay lang naman kasi... Pag kung favor lang din naman din sa amin kasi wala din naman kami magagawa ng sugar. Wala din naman mga soft drinks, mga juices, at taas din. So mag-adjust din kami ng presyo. Yun. Kaya sa train mo? Oo, uh, 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 uh,